Welcome back to Whispers of Myth, where we venture into the depths of ancient mysteries and esoteric lore. I'm your guide on this journey through time and myth. Today we delve into the enigmatic tale of the Nephilim, the legendary giants of biblical narratives, whose origins and legacy stir both awe and controversy. The Nephilim appear in various ancient texts, most notably the book of Genesis, where they're described as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. These beings have captivated the imagination of scholars, theologians, and enthusiasts of the unexplained, prompting a myriad of interpretations about their true nature. Who were the Nephilim, giants walking the earth, heroes of old, or something far more profound? Today, we peel back the layers of this ancient mystery, exploring their biblical descriptions and the speculation that these beings might have extraterrestrial origins. Our story begins in the antediluvian world, a time before the Great Flood, where Nephilim roamed the earth. Described as formidable, men of renown, their presence is a testament to a forgotten epoch when the divine and mortal realms intertwined in ways beyond our modern comprehension. The union of the sons of God with human women resulted in the birth of the Nephilim marks a pivotal moment in biblical lore. This crossbreeding, viewed as an abomination, led to widespread corruption and violence, ultimately contributing to the divine decision to cleanse the earth with a flood. But the tale of the Nephilim doesn't end with the flood. References to giants persist in biblical texts, such as the story of David and Goliath, suggesting the Nephilim, or their descendants, survived or re-emerged in post-Diluvian times. Delving into the Book of Enoch, we find further accounts of the Nephilim. The Watchers This ancient text offers a detailed narrative of the Watchers, angelic beings who descended to earth, defying heavenly decrees by sharing forbidden knowledge with humanity and fathering the Nephilim. The legacy of the Nephilim and the Watchers raises tantalizing questions. Were these stories mere myths, allegories for moral and spiritual lessons? Or do they contain echoes of humanity's encounters with beings of extraordinary power and knowledge, possibly from beyond our world? Ancient astronaut theorists proposed that the Nephilim could be evidence of extraterrestrial intervention in human affairs. This theory suggests that the sons of God were in fact alien visitors whose advanced technology and stature led ancient humans to view them as the divine. This perspective invites us to reconsider the origins of civilization, the development of ancient technologies, and the monumental structures that dot our planet's landscape. Could the Nephilim, with the reputed strength and knowledge, have played a role in shaping early human societies? As we navigate the borderlands between myth and reality, the story of the Nephilim challenges us to expand our understanding of the past. It compels us to explore the possibilities of our origins and the mysteries that lie at the heart of human history. The Nephilim remain enshrined in our collective mythos, a symbol of the profound and often blurred line between the divine and the mundane, the terrestrial, and the possibility of extraterrestrial. Their story woven into the fabric of our spiritual and cultural heritage continues to inspire, mystify, and provoke debate. As we conclude our exploration of the Nephilim, we're reminded of the power of ancient myths and legends. The mysteries of the past beckon inviting us to ponder the unknown and explore the unexplained. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and remember to like and subscribe.